Show win of the season, he's been lights out. Left to right go the Griffins in white and black and red. In green and wheat go the Wild right to left. And we're off here in GR. Sit back and enjoy some Wednesday night hockey. Joe Hicketts gets in Soderblom's way and then bolts it out to center, giving Chase his walker. Turned over, here's Beckman right down Broadway. He scores! Adam Beckman after the Wild were hemmed in all period long, has the first of the night. And Iowa off to an early lead here, 13.54 to go in the first. And Adam Beckman has his 11th of the season and his third in the last two games. Patan at the right circle opening up now. With 55 seconds to go in the penalty to Soderblom. Middle blue line, Hicketts. Left circle, it's Walker all the way across. Patan's one-timer scores! A bullet from Nick Patan and a dazzling cross-dot feed from Sammy Walker. Iowa jumps to a two-goal lead here in the first, thanks to Nick Patan's fifth of the year. That pass was on a platter for Nick Patan, and he did not waste it. A rocket that Nedeljkovic had no chance on. Near side and high, a roof job from Patan. Left-hand wall, meanders into the left-hand corner. Mermis takes Edvinson off the puck. Frolics his way to center and connects with Walker, flying in alone to the right circle and a save from Mendelkovic. It leaks behind him and just hits the right post. And then see, put back to the outside wall. Hannes gets to it, marches in behind the net. Thought about doing the Michigan move there, had the puck on his blade, but Schuster was ready for it. Criscolo slams one to the backside and they score a wraparound goal for Kyle Criscolo and it's a 2-1 game. Patan couldn't get it at center. It goes all the way into the attacking zone. Marco Rossi had a look at it and Adelkovic came way out the other way, played it all the way to the far zone and Pearson scores! Wow! As bizarre of a play as you will see pass for Schuster, now Fogarty connects with Walker, flying across the blue line, drop pass, Patan, back to Walker, they score! A gorgeous passing play, and who else in the middle of it? Nick Patan, slicing the defense of Grand Rapids, and with 14.9 seconds to go in the second period, an answer from Sammy Walker, and it's a 3-2 game. Lesperance at the right point, Camper back down that right wall for Pearson. Connects with Lesperance. However, wires cross with he and McIsaac, and now Mikey Milne has beaten everyone. He's in alone, and he gets a hook from behind. Will they call a penalty shot? Yes, they will. Against Alex Nedeljkovic, what a moment for Mikey Milne. He's likely watched Alex Nedeljkovic play on television in the past. Now he's going one-on-one -on -one to make it 4-2 Iowa. The lefty Milne to double the lead to the left circle. Shoots near side and scores! Mikey Milne, a penalty shot finished through the five-hole of Alex Nedeljkovic. And it's a 4-2 hockey game with 11-13 to play in the third. Third of the season for Mikey Milne. Nothing complicated about it. He... Mermis taking it himself up the left wall. Nice pass to the tape of Schuster. Giroux with a chip and chase to the attacking right circle. Over for Milne. There's a rebound. They score. It's the former Griffin, Patrick Curry, with an insurance goal late in the third. What a moment for Curry against his former team. He cleans up the loose change after a fantastic passing play through center. An exceptional pass by Damian Giroux, dot to dot. Mikey Milne thought he had his second of the game. It was a glorious save from Nedeljkovic, but Patrick Curry would not be denied. He crashes into the net, puts the puck in, and takes the net with him. And the buzzer will sound a wide-ranging night for Iowa. They get goals from five different goal scorers and march into GR and take a 5-2 win over the Griffins and it's three in a row for Iowa as the march towards the top of the Central Division continues.